Hello, I'm Brad Sherman from NewsWatchman.com, and I'm just looking over some of the swag from the Treasure Hunters Roadshow. We'll take you down to the event in Piketon as we take a look at your weekend headlines. down to reporter Matt Lucas, who's at the Treasure Hunters Roadshow right now. Thanks, Brad. I just stopped by the Treasure Hunters Roadshow here in Piketon, where some local residents have been turning their old treasures into cash. A number of local residents made their way to the Comfort Inn in Piketon last week with items from their attics, garages, and closets to sell at the Treasure Hunters Roadshow. According to show manager Fred Dillon, there was a good turnout of residents from Piketon, Waverly, Chillicothe, and even a little bit further away. Let's hear from Dillon. One of the biggest um, things that we've bought this week is everybody's bringing in their jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's I mean, but everybody does, you know, sure. the price of gold's at thirteen hundred dollars an ounce or whatnot. So, so it's a good time to bring it's, in it's gold. It's a real great time to bring in gold. I mean, because we even take in, we even buy like gold teeth. We buy uh, really, yeah, we'll buy like the broken, twisted up chains and stuff like that. It doesn't even have to be nice jewelry. Um, and then we will buy any old coins, you know, the the sixty four and before like silver coins, like quarters, dimes, half dollars. Um, just that's that's really the biggest hottest thing going right now. The Treasure Hunters Roadshow will run through Saturday at 4 p.m. at the Comfort Inn Conference Center in Piketon. Also in your weekend edition of the Pike County News Watchman, Piketon Village Council held its first meeting inside its new chambers located at the Piketon Government Center. We'll tell you what was discussed at that meeting. We have some law enforcement items for you. And don't forget to set those clocks back this Sunday. And we'll also remind you to check your smoke alarms. In sports, we continue to follow the Eastern Lady Eagles volleyball team on the tournament trail. Eastern now finds itself just one win away from making the state tournament after an impressive regional semifinal victory over Lancaster Fisher Catholic. I'm Brittany with the News Watchman Weather Report. Brr, it's pretty cold outside, but don't worry, it's going to warm up. Keep that kit with you for Saturday. It's still going to be cold and in the mid-40s. We're going to have an abundant amount of sun on Sunday in the mid-50s. More clouds than sun on Monday in the low 60s. But it looks like for Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have some more warm weather, which is always better than cold. Back to Brad. All these stories and more all in the Sunday edition of your Pike County News Watchman. Are you a fan of these videos? Well, if you are, be sure to swing by our YouTube channel where you can either subscribe to our videos or just check out some past videos. And also, don't forget to visit us and become a fan on Facebook. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, everyone.